What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993, and this is episode number 185 of my WWE Turn Alert series. As we are talking about a face turn that was solidified on Friday. And just like the last episode with the heel turn, this one, about time. And I hope, I hope this is finally the time we get Cesaro getting that one on one world title shot he's been long overdue so cesaro turned face well he kind of did already the friday before when he had that match with daniel bryan and they fist bumped at the end um they kind of solidified cesaro turning babyface again now let's take a step back first before we talk more about um about this um recently Cesaro had apparently re-signed a new deal with WWE. Um, and I know a lot of people were very disappointed by that. Well, fans, at least. Cesaro seemed cool with it, as far as I know. I don't know any backstories. I don't know Claudio Castronope. I can't remember what, what, what Cesaro's real-life name is. Um, but a lot of people were not happy with that, because they thought this is, this is Cesaro's time to go somewhere else. I mean, he's been in WWE since 2012, I think it is. And again, as I talked about in my SmackDown review, in that whole time, Cesaro has only had one opportunity, one actual match where the world title was on the line. And that was Elimination Chamber 2014, when it was Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, John Cena, Sheamus, Christian and Cesaro inside the Elimination Chamber. And that was the start. That was right before they split Cesaro from the real... the, um... the real Americans with him and Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter. Um... Cesaro got another brief singles push as a babyface in 2015 and 2016 also. I still say 2016 may have been Cesaro's best year as a single star. The, 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 the character he developed there. And he was right there, so close, when the brand split came back to me to be getting a one-on-one -on -one shot for a universal title when he feuded with Sheamus in that Best of Seven series. But instead of that leading to a world title shot, it led to Cesaro and Sheamus becoming the bar, a tag team. And of course, at first it was just, you know, the Bizarro tag team with the baby face and the heel of Cesaro and Sheamus. But then that but then Cesaro had officially turned heel at Payback 2017 after their match against the Hardy Boys. Um, and Cesaro's been a heel ever since. Which was disappointing. Because Cesaro has been limited to nothing but a tag team specialist ever since coming over um, since, you know, being in WWE. He was in a team with, you know, Jack Swagger. He was in a team with Tyson Kidd until Tyson Kidd suffered his career-ending neck injury. As they were briefly were tag champs. Um, and then they threw him in the team with Sheamus. And after several successful runs with the tag titles, they put him with Nakamura for no reason. And they were tag champs for a few months last summer. So now, obviously, since, you know, Cesaro and Nakamura both... Their contracts are up this year. WWE had to do some <laughs> kissing up, probably, to keep to get them to stay. Cesaro, of course, resigned, but there may be an op a way here to at least get us, get me at least, to say, okay, he resigned, and just this happening made it worth it. They may treat him. Here's the thing: they may treat Cesaro like crap after this even though i still think cesaro who i think is 40 years old now deserves his time in the main event scene even if they probably won't if they would do it and actually would give him the world title 
and basically treat his world title run how they treated Kofi Kingston's world title run. Even though I'm hoping Cesaro as world champion would be like Kofi and make the best out of it. Um, I still think what needs to happen is Cesaro qualified for the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match on, on SmackDown on Friday night. The winner of that match faces Roman Reigns in the main event of Elimination Chamber for the world title. If they can at least give Cesaro that one, one-on-one world title shot, I will at least somewhat say WWE kept their promises a little bit with them resigning Cesaro, giving him the one opportunity he's never gotten. And they better give it to him after that promo that he had cut on Talking Smack. If you have not watched that promo yet, look it up and watch it. If Vince McMahon wants to say he's got no charisma, something's missing, he can't cut a promo, this man, at 40 years old, just cut what may have been one of the best promos of his career. Maybe the best. Throw the man a bone, give him a world title shot. He probably is not going to win it right now, but give him that shot and let him take what Vince McMahon said about him in 2014, how... I don't know, something's just missing. Maybe it's because he's Swiss. And take that and shove it up his rear end. Cesaro has had some excellent one-on-one matches, such as against Aleister Black, with Daniel Bryan recently, um, with Ricochet, I know, I think two years ago, he had some excellent matches with. This man is capable of being in a main event scene. This man has always been mad. Heck, remember this also in 2014, leading up to his match at the at the Elimination Chamber? Remember, this man beat Randy Orton clean. In the gauntlet matches, in like in like the one-on-one matches Randy Orton had with each member of the chamber match. One-on-one. It was on an episode of SmackDown, I remember. And I actually watched that episode. He beat Cesaro. I mean, Cesaro beat Orton clean. He can do it. Just give him the shot. Give him the shot. And let him be a babyface. Let him get over. Heck, here's the thing. He is able to get over. He's been getting over. You're just not letting it... You're just not letting the chips fall into place. Because you're too scared of this man being a star. Yes, there's no crowd here, but you know what? Give this man a bone. Give him a shot. He may not win the title at Elimination Chamber. He probably will not. Give him a chance to at least show you what this man could do if you put the world title on the line. I'm dead serious. So as far as my thoughts, yes, Cesaro being a babyface is what's meant to be needed because he is the most underutilized wrestler in WWE the past 10 years. I still say of the decade, of the 2010s, the most underutilized wrestler was Cesaro. This man can do everything in the ring. He's a five-tool man, could wrestle any type of match. Why was has he only been given one shot, one shot with the world title on the line in a six-man elimination chamber match? Throw this man a bone, give him at least a chance to take all that and shove it right back at them. And we'll be off from there. So guys, that is my thoughts on Cesaro being a baby face once again. This is the last chance. This is the last chance for Cesaro to at least get that one shot. And that one shot can easily be Elimination Chamber to prove everybody wrong. Even if he does not win. So guys, that are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts on Cesaro turning face what are your thoughts on Cesaro being a baby face do you think that world title shot for him is at Elimination Chamber let me know down in the comment section below slap a like on the video subscribe for more content to come to my channel and follow me on Twitter at DemandAirboy93 and as always guys please stay tuned for more WWE Turn Alert